Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the second half of my review of the Surface Pro 2 and again this is a Windows um, tablet it's a 10.6 inch I believe and right now I'm just showing you what I have this is my Intos uh, 4 wireless tablet and I'm going to be opening up my first program which is going to be a PlayStation emulator and yes it does run nicely uh, no lags and uh, I seem to be a little problem there I'm gonna sort that out let's try again I think there is what couldn't find the ROM so I'm gonna be looking for it one more time give me a little second here for this to I'm gonna take a little bit it's gonna take a while to me for me to to find all of these I should have just dumped this all on the desktop so it'll be very quick to ac access it and keep in mind I'm using a mini ultra keyboard it's pretty much the size of my hand and I'm using it to navigate if it wasn't for that it'll be a little bit more difficult I've been trying to get the power the power cover or whatnot for this tablet but finding it it's so hard right now everywhere I've checked is currently outsold outsold like sold out everywhere even on the Microsoft site itself it pains me a lot because I really want this extra battery just for the hell of it. But anyway, let's continue with this review. And here we see this is a Squaresoft. And let's see who can guess which game this is for PlayStation. Oop. I guess that first music in the image gives it away. And for those of you who do not know this game, oh my gosh. Shame on you guys. If you're a gamer, that is. This is one of the. This is when Squaresoft was in their prime, making some beautiful game, um, experimenting with stuff, and this is pretty much the second series to the game Chrono Trigger. This is the second one called Chrono Cross, a very beautiful game of its time. Graphics is pretty much spectacular, man. And if you, if you, oh, if you, oh my God, I, I'm. <laughs> As you can see, I'm pretty excited trying to explain everything here. If any of you, any of you guys who have this emulator and up the graphics to like max, you get beautiful renders and sharp anti-aliasing. Pretty much a very very smooth game. Not to mention some guys uh, have heard and seen modify the shaders to get some really good shaders here. I forgot what was I trying. Oh yes. I was trying to get the um, control to be configured to the the mini keyboard, which is pretty much difficult. I completely forgot what button does what, so bear with me here. I'm just going to be clicking, clicking. I know something is X, something is circle. I just want to confirm and go on so you guys can have a sense of how this perform. Till then, just bear with me. As you can see, the CGI cutscene, no lags running very smooth and look at that very nice and I didn't even modify this sucker to look even I can modify this to look even better than what it is showing right now and a side note I'm gonna be replaying this game cause like I said there's not much game like this around anymore on the internet or even on the shelf you I don't want to say, you know, I, I already said it on the shelf. Uh, it's, it's hard to find gems like these anymore, man. Right? But anyway, I'm going to replay this game and slap it on my channel soon using my beast of a computer, NP Sager. I forgot the freaking code for it, but it's a pretty, it's a beast. Okay, here's going to be the first fight and no lag. Not sure if I upped the resolution. Yes, I did. I think it's currently taking the settings from my laptop. I had to actually turn it down half of half the settings from my laptop because it was chugging like a it was chugging like a beast when I started to play PlayStation 2 game. And yes, I just said it. You can play PlayStation 2 game on the Microsoft Surface Pro 2. Given time, I'll be demonstrating that shortly. But I'm just briefly ex showing you right now what the what it can handle. 
yes, the image of the word seems a bit blurred up. I have not tweaked the text yet, the visual. I just wanted to do a quick demo for anyone who's like hesitant to buying this, who wants to play any game. And right now I'm going to show you another game. Let me go and find which one. You know what? I have not tried a drag and drop. Maybe next time I'll do that. And uh, and if you guys are wondering why have I not done a drag and drop, is because I'm recording this after I done all the videos. And you can hear me sniffling there because of me hanging down. I had a little cold that day. And what the smeg am I doing right now? Okay, I think I'm still fiddling with the key, the the mini keyboard, and also I'm gonna. I guess I was having a little difficulty with it, so I decided to use my hands instead. Okay, I think this is the PS2 emulator. And which game is this? Like I said before, this sucker was using my my laptop um, settings. So when I started to run these emulators, it was extremely slow. So it took me a while to figure it out. Oh, it was my setting was extremely high. So I needed to half the settings so it to run pretty normal. And this is what I'm using right now to control this sucker right here. Anyone can guess what game this is? Uh, too late. Yes, this is going to run Metal Gear Solid 3. The first time I run this, it was extremely lagging. And like I stated before, I uh, I had to go change the settings because it was using my current uh, laptop settings, which is extremely high. After the end of World War II, the world was split into two, east and west. This marked the beginning of the era called the Cold War. Just give it some time. As we all know, Metal Gear, there's going to be... Intros, 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 CG, 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 intros, talking, CG, intro, more intro, equal intro, square intro, and more intros. The head of the CIA has finally given us the green light for the virtuous mission. Virtual mission? No, the virtuous mission. The future. So I get, as you've seen, the CGI is pretty, pretty smooth playing. Like I said, the first time I played it, it was pretty chugging. And I'm skipping again. I want to get to the main root of the gameplay to get, for you guys to have an idea of what it, this uh, tablet is capable of. Do you think I'll skip this part? And as you can see, the visual is pretty nice and sharp. Too bad I can turn this up a bit more. You know what? I have. I didn't even. This is a settings times two. Maybe I should go times three. The settings that I was using was, I think, six or eight for my laptop. And I had to drop this sucker down to um, four. Four? Uh, I, I forgot if it was four or two. But regardless, it runs pretty smoothly and even better than the PlayStation 2 itself. And I'm going to be running around so far, no lagging. I'm still trying to figure out the buttons um, mapping for, it, for this keyboard. I'm going to zoom in a bit so you guys can have a full scope of what's going on. Hmm, nice physics on the grass. I didn't even notice, notice this when I was playing. This is one game I need to replay. I really like this one. I think I like Metal Gear 1, 3 then four then two I like to but not to some extent I I find it has some flaws in it but I like three a lot not to mention the music but who who's to say I enjoyed Metal Gear Solid 1 even a bit more cause you know it was the original of all original Metal Gear just having a little point of view to have a pretty good scope of uh, so far no lagging on the system and if any of you guys are wondering about the heat and this um, <clears throat> Surface Pro 2 while you're playing, it gets heat up. It heats up a bit. It's not extremely hot to like 
burn your hands and turn your red and whatnot. So you run to the doctors and like, what happened? The service pro cooked my ass. Uh, no, it, it won't. It won't burn your hand like that. It'll just get warm. To some degree, it's even. <laughs> if you're playing this in the winter, you might. <laughs> it'll be pretty, pretty good for a warming. And why the hell is he calling me? Okay, I need to skip this. I'm not gonna go through all of this to demonstrate that it's working correctly. And I'm gonna demonstrate some other games. Be patient with me, the sweet stuff is coming soon. And this is the settings that I have that I was talking about. Um, uh, it's two times that I set it to. And the other ones was three, four, five, and six. Yeah, I believe I had it on six on my laptop and on it was the default settings that I save it as and it was extremely chugging on this guy. So I just had to figure cause one of my friends told me that the Surface Pro 2 was running the Skyrim. I'm like, nah, you're lying, man. And then he showed me a video, I'm like, whoa, 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 what? So he stated that since it can run Skyrim, 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 why the hell did I say Skyrim? Okay, I'm not a drinker. But anyway, continuing. Uh, if it can run Skyrim, it can run any piece PlayStation 2 game. And as you can see, I just need to lower the settings a bit and it will run pretty standard. And I forgot which game that I choose right here. It's going to take a little while to load. Oh, a next Konami game. And yes, uh, I'm a pretty... I was a fan of Konami in the past, and this is one game I extremely love, Contra. Oh my god, this game is extremely hard, man. Holy shit. This is one next game I'm going to be dumping on this channel in a few bit. Okay, let's run around. As you can see, no lagging on this sucker right here. I'm just gonna go around, cap some ass. Yep. So far, no lagging. And I might die to this guy. Let's see which one's the charging. Okay, there we go. Ooh, the last time I died to this guy. All right, moving on a bit. It's just gonna be a small demonstrator demonstration. Sorry, this uh, winter has been pretty damn bad. Everybody's getting cold where I'm working. And if you, any of you guys wondering, I'm working in the animation department. I'm pretty much an animator. Okay, let's try our next game. What do we have? Just bear with me here. I should have organized all of these stuff so I can demonstrate just to speed up the process. Where the I can't recall where exactly I put it. Maybe on the desktop. But anyway, let's uh maybe one of these. Okay, let's load it up and see. Okay, this is the next game I enjoy pretty much. I'm a huge Castlevania fan. <laughs> pretty much all of the original um, Castlevania Symphony. Oh god, tongue twister. Castlevania Symphony of the Night. I love that uh, PlayStation 1 game to death. I currently own it on PlayStation, PS2, PSP. Yeah, I play that game a lot. And yes, of course, I own it, even on emulator. And if any of you guys are wondering, yes, I played the new Castlevania, Castlevania Lords of Shadow. And the next one that came out, I was a little bit disappointed on it. Hence, I didn't pick it up because of some of the, uh, let's say the, the, side mission or 
annoying mission they had, which you have to turn into some mice or some crap. I just didn't bother with it. Maybe I'm gonna stream it on YouTube one day. I still kind of wanted to have the experience in playing it, but nah. I don't think I'm gonna waste my time. And I believe this guy right now is Richter. I can't recall. I haven't played this in years. Hector, not Richter. And if you guys are wondering about that little shimmering that's going on, I'm not sure what that is. Maybe I need to download another um, ROM itself. Because there's some ROMs that are um, defective. And I'll show you guys one ROM that I download, which, uh, which I. Any of these ROMs that I download, I currently own. Just to, you know, I own all of these games. Just to clarify. And as I was saying before, one ROM that I have which was giving me hell, I'll demonstrate that for one of the last ones. And yes, I'm having a little difficulty controlling this in the ultra mini keyboard that I have right now. Like I said guys, let's bear with me. Oh god, yeah. I, I just messed up. I did something. It wasn't supposed to slow down like this, and I think I messed up pretty big. Oh crap, it's just running forward. Yeah, I messed up real good. Right now, I can't do anything, it's stuck. Oh crap. This is all on me, guys. I was trying to do something with the controls, slash changing the settings on the emulator, and thus this crap happened. And I can't even face this guy, he's just gonna beat the crap out of me. Yeah, that's a nice demonstration. Something else right now. <clears throat> Next game. Man, that was an epic fail. Good thing I wasn't on stage demonstrating it in front of a lot of people. <clears throat> and this is another game that I enjoyed. Not as much as the one before it. I'm a huge Breath of Fire fan. I, the Breath of Fire that I love a lot is um, 4 and 3 in that order. 4, 3, then 5. 5 I felt was extremely freaking hard man. If you're not careful with the items and your skills and spells you can really screw yourself over. <clears throat> I'm yet to replay this game. Uh, uh, I have some difficulties with this ROM like I stated before. It's one of those ROM where it, it doesn't work for some reason. And the reason why I'm having a load screen right now is I think there's an autosave. And as you... Whoa. It's not even 1% right now. But yeah, you know, let's, let's, let's just load it up for the hell of it. If it loads, that is. This is what, like I said, this is one of the ROM that has issues. And that is where the ROM stopped working. Sadly. Yeah, I might have to cancel this. I have to get the next one because I really wanted to replay this again. Okay, it's still not loading. Not loading, not loading. Yeah, this ROM is pretty much defected. And here's the one that I enjoy. I pretty much play this game almost, almost every night. My wife, yeah, she gets annoyed. <laughs> I have to wait till she's a slave for me to play this. <sighs> but hey, she has her soap operas and whatnot, which I refuse to sit down and watch. Sometimes I do for the hell of it. Sometimes. Oh gosh. So purpose. And now um, those reality shows. <clears throat> but anyway, I have this guy set on ultra settings. Even on extreme. And I have to say I'm extremely, extremely 
impresses the way this is running. Running this in extreme is not an easy task. Some of my friends that play um, on Battlenet with me <clears throat> have difficulties playing this sucker in extreme. Much yes, um, not to mention even ultra settings. And yeah, if you guys are wondering why the blackout there, I wanted to black out my um, password just in case anybody wanted to guess it. And no, it's not me or my name or something easy. I just don't want to, you know, display any character or how long it is or whatnot. Okay, as you guys, as you, oh gosh, tongue twisters, I'm full of it. As you guys can see, I'm going to zoom in to make you have a clear look right here. This is all custom setting on Ultra. <clears throat> The only thing I pretty much turned off here was the unit portrait, which I, I don't personally don't care too much. So I'll take that off. <clears throat> Let's carry on. So you can see the in-game performance of this. <clears throat> and yes, I even played a match on this, but I need a better keyboard. Oh my god, I need a better keyboard. When is that power cover coming out, man? Microsoft needs to step up the game. They're really slacking with the demands for that power cover. Maybe there's some issues with it. I have no idea. But if any of you guys have a power cover, let me know how it is. I kind of wish it had the black light on it. <clears throat> but I'm still going to pick it up regardless if it has it or not. <clears throat> I'm just speeding it up here. Like, this is times 8. And this is moving extremely well. Mm. And as you can see, I'm using the mini, mi the mini, mi the mini map to move around. Pretty much, I have to press and hold to activate the right click. This way, I can um, move around on the mini map, or maybe not. But I have to do that on the screen itself. Okay, this is one tricky game. I need to cast this game. One, this was this was one really really nice game that we played. I mainly played two v two on a battle net. Some one v, but yeah. As you can see, my ass is getting really demolished right now by these speed links. Are they even speed links, or is it just my speed is too fast? Yes, they're speed links. Since it's seven minutes in the game so far, and I should have taken that spine that I have right there and put to protect the spawning pool. And I have no idea why I didn't think of this. Why have I not think of this? Yeah, they're just streaming more lanes so far. And as you guys can see, there's no lag playing this game. The only thing that happens much when you're playing games on this, it heats up. And like I said, it's just warm. It's not anything that can burn your hands or melt it or anything. <clears throat> so far, there were some issues that I ran into when I have this um, tablet. Let's see, the first one was uh, the pen. I wish the bloody pen that comes with this tablet was two buttons instead of one. Which in turn leads me into ordering a pen online, which is pretty much expensive, cost me 102 bucks. It, this is all included in shipping, and this is from the States. I, I'm currently in Canada, and I ordered this from the States. This two button pen, it is called mod book I'll put the link of all everything that I discussed or say here for you to have a visual and um, to see what I what I'm talking about <clears throat> and I'm right now I just decided to give a better demonstration and how this sucker is moving maybe I should speed this up a bit so I'm pretty much showing you the actual in-game speed right now for you to have a feeling for how it flows in-game instead of speeding it up two to four times. 
And yeah, I'm having difficulties selecting these these organs. <clears throat> And this is not computer, this is after the match is done, I decide to just, you know, demonstrate. And these are images of how it actually look on screen, because while you were watching the video of it playing, it doesn't do it justice. It look actually really better than this, really, really superb and nice, crisp images. I'm showing each races right now, this is Terran, well guys who play this will know this is a turn and these are all ultra settings ultras to extreme settings it looks sharper than what you're actually seeing right now and uh, this almost uh, conclude my game and demonstration when I get the power cover and the pen I'll have another video to show and demonstrate how these guys perform and like I stated before, I had a few issues with the tablet, which I, I solved in the end, which is the pen. I ordered our next pen. The screen was dimming in and out, light and dark at times. I updated that, I updated, updated the driver that solved the issue. And the last issue that I had was the sound was pretty much gone. And I was wondering what the hell, there was no sound the whole time. And I solved that by uninstalling the driver and updating to the current new driver that they have. So far this tablet is extremely good. I really, really would recommend this for any guys who are like myself, who games on the side and also are professional artists slash animator, 3D guys. Uh, I run Maya, ZBrush, TV Paint, Adobe, Photoshop, not illustration, not illustration because I don't use those or After Effects because I, I pretty much don't like those much. I use Sony Vegas. I'll have a link to one of my first video of running those programs to this uh, in the description for you to get a clear uh, understanding of what I'm talking about. And I really, really like this tablet. <clears throat> I first wonder if a uh, 10 inch wasn't big enough, but I get used to it. And I have to say, it's it, given the weight that it has, it's light. But holding it for a while, it, it, for someone who's frail, frail and I don't want to say weak uh, or elderly or whatnot, they all might have some issues holding this up. For a long, long period of time, 5, 10, 15 minutes is okay. Maybe half an hour beyond that. You might like, oh, I'm building some muscle here. But apart from that, it's extremely good. I recommend this tablet for gaming, on-the-go work and whatnot. Uh, keep in touch. Subscribe if you like this review. As I said, keep in touch. I'm going to have some more stuff coming soon, like the pen, the keyboard, and so on.